Hi, everybody. This is Gary Diem, Sentiment Timing, and this is our technical video report for Tuesday, October 4th, 2022. Um, I'm getting this out about eight minutes before the uh, the market closes. I have, uh, I have an appointment I have to run on. But um, the, the, really, the bulls are in uh, full force uh, short squeeze mode right here. And I, I said in the in the morning notes that somewhere around that 3820, possibly even the 3900 is is going to be a magnet. Now, there's a chance that we get up there by the time the, <laughs> this closes, they just squeeze them out. But in any case, this is what the the the, the bulls need to get above right at that 3827. If they do that, then we should see the quick move up to the uh up to our uh this is really say the major resistance and that's gets right at the 3900 so this is i, I think we're going to get up to the 3900 i really do but I, I also think that you know we we could see some backing and filling somewhere in in this area here between the 3820 and, and say up to the 3900 um this is really our major support right in this area right here you can see we have, uh, you know, this is where the tops were made. We broke through it, came down. Now we're breaking through it again. So if, if the bulls, if they want to continue this, they really got to try to keep it above the 37.14. And, uh, you know, and, and if they do, then, you know, I, like I said, I, I think with the next stop's going to come up to the 3,900. And I'm not even discounting a move up to the 41, 4100 level. Uh, I'm not bullish on the market, but we've had enough fear in it with uh, you know, just you can see with the sentiment readings that we've been seeing that it, it, there's probably a lot more shorts that are still shorting this market right here. And until they're all out, uh, you know, I, I, I believe that the bulls will, will kind of maintain things. Now, that's if we have some geopolitical news that comes out, which, you know, it's always like a a shot in the dark. Oh, I hate waking up in the morning and, and starting to read some of the news just to find out what we did here and, and what's going on. But uh, besides any like geopolitical news or, or economic news right here, um, I, I see it's going higher. Any of those could just derail everything. And that's why you have to be kind of cautiously bullish. But this this looks like it's a panic low right here. And like I said, the first resistance is going to be 3827. And then we're going up to the right around that 3900 level. So if you're looking in this, this is where if you're if you if you're long, this is probably where you want to take some profits and then look to buy, uh, to buy somewhere down into the 3717 level. So it, up here, you're not chasing down here. You're looking to buy. And we, you know, you put a stop underneath these lows here. And if it gets above here, then you start looking at kind of home run trades where you're going up to the 4,000 and possibly closing a gap at 4,100. So um, we don't have any bull, any bearish divergences yet uh, uh, on the 15 minute chart. And if we take a look at the hourly chart, we don't. So this is telling me that the, the bulls are not done yet and that, we, you know, most likely we're going to make a move somewhere up into this level right here. And that's going to be that 30, 3820, 3850 level. And you can see where, I, so I did this on the, the 15 minute chart and you can see that's exactly where the, the 200 day moving, uh, the 50 day moving average is. So this is going to be important. This 3700 level, I think the bulls have to hold. Um, and if they do, then, then I do believe we're going to be heading up, uh, you know, a, a lot higher than where we are right now. So let's see what plays out tomorrow. Um, just be open minded. Don't, you know, don't only be looking in one direction because we've seen very well what happens when the, you know, when, when the majority is leaning in one side. So with that, have a great night and I'll talk to you guys in the morning.